Welcome to my YouTube channel guys. If you're one of my subscribers, thanks for returning. And if you're not, then you should be. Please press the subscribe button. Um, it would mean a lot to me. A lot of my views are coming through people that haven't subscribed and I don't realize, I don't think you realize the seriousness of subscribing to my channel. It really yeah. helped me out. I'm nearly at 100 now, so it'd be great to be yeah. able to get to 100. So please like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. So today we are doing a Zara men's haul. Uh, Lauren has picked the items uh, and paid for them and had them delivered. This is the first time that I'm going to see them and try them on, so you will now find out my actual reaction it's to be interesting. the it's way like Lauren's... some a bit. Yeah, so I've seen I, I've seen like this flowery shirt already, and I don't feel like I'm going to like it. But it's cute. again, you're going to get my my honest reaction. <laughs> I will try them on and give you my feedback. So I hope you enjoy it, okay, guys. Okay, so the first outfit I haven't quite put all these into outfits yet, so we'll just it'll just be trial and error. But first, we're going to do these jeans. Right. Let's have a little look. So these are skinny fit. Yeah. Another pair of skinny fit. But fit. they're like really good, proper denim jeans. Like they're not that, they're well, not like very stretchy. Denim. They're a little bit stretchy, aren't they? But they're not that stretchy. These are made in Turkey. Funny enough, quite a lot of my uh, watches are in Turkey. So if you are working from uh, Hello, from in Turkey. Turkey. Hello. You make okay. very good jeans by the looks of it. So these are rip carrot fit jeans. Carrot fit? So I think carrot means they're slightly larger at the top and then they go slightly inwards. I'm not 100% sure one of you may be able to correct me on that. And that's a waist 34. They came as a standard length. Right, okay. And then I'm thinking with it is this white t-shirt, although actually it looks very cream to me. Because if you compare it to like a white shirt, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's, it's not white. But it's one of those like long life t-shirts that men are like you know it's like good for the environment it'll last forever it's quite a thick t-shirt and it's got a slightly high neck on it now i've seen it i don't like it that much but i did like it on the website and then with that we're going to wear this beige zip up jacket right. i don't have any prices of these but i'll link everything below so then you can click and look at the prices if you're if you're interested in them um and i did also get an accessory right which was some sunglasses <coughs> And these are like gold hardware, um, and they're actually like a hexagon shape. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that, but I thought they were quite cute with the outfit. Okay, well, I'll give it all a try on. So, this is outfit number one. Um, this is this is it. Nice jacket, this is like a denim, but it's quite thin, isn't it? And yeah. then the ripped jeans. I like the outfit. I think the outfit's really nice. I like the jacket. Yeah, we've got the sunglasses on. Yeah, well, let me let me do this bit first, and I'll try these I like on. The outfit. I don't like the sunglasses anyway. I like the jeans. I like a ripped pair of jeans. And I, I know. Think yeah. These are, these are nice. I'm um, gaping holes in. They fit. Really I think they're nice. Weird. They look quite high end. They've got um, turn around, like nice detail on the back. The little brown Zara denim wear. I just think they look nice. I think they're nice. I think they go with anything. They're good for summer. They're nice. I like them. Um, I'm quite easy going with jeans anyway, but they are nice. They're a nice fit. They're not too tight for a skinny jean either. I don't like the t-shirt at all. Um, I think I could just get away with wearing a normal plain white t-shirt under this. Yeah, like, I'm not a big fan. Like yeah, neck. I don't like the fact that it's tight. The material is very heavy for a t-shirt as well. What about the jacket? Jacket. I really like the jacket. I think it's different. It's nice. It's um. Quite it's a, a little smart, bit crispy, it's just come out the box. It's like a smart-ish jacket. Yeah, I think it's nice and it'll go like, with a lot of things. It's a nice The only sort of problem color. that I found with it is, well, there's two problems that I found with it. A, the pockets are all the way back here, so I've basically got to put my hand mm -hmm. into my back. It's just in the seam of the jacket, so it's just there, like, but, okay. I've got to put my hand, yeah, that to you, man, it's then. quite high, it's quite far back okay. for a pocket. And then secondly, this is broken. So uh -huh. this has arrived like this you can see that one stitched in oh so yeah the stitches whereas come this off. one's already come out it's a nice jacket i like it i like the outfit as a whole i think it's nice if i had to rate it out of 10 i'd probably give it an eight um eight i'll put on these sunglasses going. i don't like them why um, don't you like them because i don't they don't they don't fit my face there i don't mind the fact that they're gold and, and whatever but i just don't like the shape of them i don't Fair I enough, feel, you can't wear them on. I look like a bug. I feel like they make me look like a bug. I don't think so, but, you know. Whatever, that's fine. Yeah, you don't like them, you don't like them. I'm not a fan of the glasses, but the rest of the outfit I like. Outfit number two will be... I need to put those to one side. Yeah. 
Outfit number two then, I'm just thinking if I want to put anything else with those jeans. Let's do the t-shirt with the shorts. So I've got this t-shirt, size large. I just thought it was different, I thought it was nice. It's not girly colours. Um, it was 17 99 and I just, I really like it. It's got the pattern, I just thought it was nice for summer, like a nice summer t-shirt. You like wearing colour, pattern? Uh, it just says other kind ZA20. So I had that okay. with these are Bermuda style shorts, so I'm struggling here. Just blue, comfy, they're like a mm, red-ish waffle material. Tie waist, I just thought they were nice for like chill. So the shorts with the t-shirt, I thought it was quite cool, just with a white pair of trainers. Okay. He clearly doesn't like it already, let's try it on. So guys, we messed up this clip. Um, it's, as you're gonna be able to see, we're gonna put the outfit on the side. It wasn't an outfit that I liked and you're gonna see what I said after I tried it on because we missed we missed the main clip where I tried the outfit on. But I didn't like it, it was too flowery for me. Uh, the shorts, it was all comfortable. It was a great comfortable fit, it fit really well. And the quality was good, but unfortunately the outfit was just a little bit too vibrant for me. So, but you're gonna see the comments now. I thought I'd smash this. This outfit is terrible. I really, I really don't like, like it. So this is outfit number four. I don't know. Or five, something like that. I've lost count. But anyway, this was the shirt and trouser combo that Lauren said that I should try on with a denim jacket. Got rid of the denim jacket. It didn't look right. Yeah, at all. I agree. It's a smart outfit. We've left the trousers long. We haven't folded the bottoms up, and we've paired it with a pair of black loafers and a black belt because it just looks smarter tucked in. It's just a lot of material to it. So if you leave it out, which again isn't a bad casual look but i just don't like yeah, it yeah maybe if it was it. with jeans or something you could leave it untucked yeah. but but the cut the the trousers are really comfortable they're like a really soft material like feel them they're really soft and like smooth they are actually they're really nice they're completely different to like other suit trousers that i've got that are very stiff and like you can tell they're part of suit trousers these are more like yeah. a track casual fit really comfortable as well but again you can wear these like casually or smartly so again it's a versatile outfit you can wear it to work or you can wear it out so for the money, what are they? They're thirty pounds. So thirty pounds, you're going to get a lot of use out of them. They're very good quality as well. So I'm sure that they're going to last for a long time. And you like the shirt? Yeah, shirt. Love shirts anyway. But for just a basic white shirt, it's not see through. We got a shirt in our, in our previous haul that was see through, and it was really cheap material. Whereas that this, tag's probably making it look a little bit see through yeah, on camera, sorry. but it's not. It's just because if the tag's I, so white and I'll black. But... Out, let me take this out. So, yeah. It is now really nice, it's good quality, it's thick. It's thick, it's like It'll a wash cotton well. material, it's nice. It's a great fit, the arm length is really good, it's really comfortable, it's loose underneath the arms as well, so you don't feel like you're all tight and squeezed into a shirt. But yeah, as an outfit, I really like it. It's really comfortable, smart, and I would definitely wear this to work. Excellent, marks out so of 10, yeah, please. I'd give this an eight. So what we'll do now I'm is, not gonna get a 10 out of 10 outfit. I don't think it should. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna now go and put the white polo t-shirt on and then roll these trousers up, put a pair of white trains on and then the denim jacket. So um, I'll put that on and I'll be back in literally two tips. So this is the next outfit, this is the denim jacket. And I do love this denim jacket. This is probably my favorite piece that I've tried on so far today. It's comfortable, it's very good quality. It's the best denim jacket that I probably own. All the other ones are like distressed and just horrible. But it's like a smart, casual denim jacket. Quality is really good as well, but I love this. And again, we've paid with the Zara white t-shirt that I'm not a fan of, but it's just to show you that it works with a white t-shirt. Yeah. But this, by far, is more my look. I just think this outfit is just a lot more cool, a lot more chilled, comfortable, all the way from the trousers to the denim jacket. The denim jacket is so nice. The material is so good. It's definitely something I'm keeping with, but this is definitely my favourite outfit so far that I've tried on. And, you know, there's no hassle with it at all. It's so easy, it's such an easy outfit, and again, it's really comfortable and cool. So this is definitely my favourite outfit so far. Marks out to 10, please. I'll give this one a nine and a half. Mmm, close. So, I mean, you're never going to give me a 10, you're not that guy, but no. I really like it. I think it's a really half. cool outfit. I think that denim jacket as well is one that will last year after year. It's really good denim. Rather than the cheap ones that you get, that will just last. You can pull it out of your wardrobe every year and that's your staple denim jacket. You see, and it's £30 for, 
for a is denim it? jacket, it's quite fitted, I think, for a large, but I don't actually mind that. I think But you're not going to wear jacket, hoodies under it in the summer, are you? So I think it's nice. I'm not a fan of oversized stuff anyway. I just love it. Maps, I just, yeah, this is my favourite piece. I love this denim jacket. So Has it? Done very well with this one. Thank you. This is my outfit, definitely, so far. Excellent. Okay. So next up is definitely something that's going to push you out your boundaries. I don't think he's going to like it. I liked it on the website, and when it arrived, I'm not too sure. So, first off are these, um, like, linen joggers. I was <laughs> I was going for just sort of, like, a different vibe, something he doesn't wear. They're not, you know, trousers like this, and they're not jeans. So they are a jogger style, but they're a linen trouser, so they're nice for the summer. They're cuffed at the bottom. Um, they've got the little tie waist drawstring at the top. So that's your trousers. And then the top that I got, which... <sighs> I'm kind of regretting it now. I think that with a white t-shirt might be a little bit nicer. But I picked up, again, this is a linen shirt, size large, um, relaxed fit. Um, so it turned up sleeves, but obviously you could you could take those down if you wanted to. It's, it's your preference. Um, but I like it. It's white with beige lines down the front. I mean, we are going to look a little bit like we're going to the desert, maybe. Yeah, um, we live nowhere near any form of sand. But I think maybe... We are on the M25, so again... Unless I own a horse or even a camel, maybe, <laughs> this would be a great outfit, but judging by Listen, I think but... separately, I personally would like them. But I think those joggers with a white t-shirt and trainers would look really cool. I think this maybe just with, like, black jeans or a plain pair of, like, blue denim jeans like you got from Boohoo the other day might make it a little bit better. I'm not sure about it together, but we'll try it on and we'll see. And I did also pick up a pair of shoes, which... I did kind of pick up to go with this, but I'm not sure they're going to go now, but I'll show you anyway. So I picked up this pair of shoes. They're like a, they're almost like a suede, I think, but a really short, soft suede, lace up, white soles, um, which I thought were really cool just for summer as an alternative to a trainer or a black rover or whatever. I thought they would all kind of go together. I'm probably now thinking that they don't, but I'm going to get them to try it on anyway. There you go. Well, I'll be back in a sec. <laughs> So this is the next outfit. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit lost for words. I look like I should be like an extra in the film Aladdin, or <laughs> riding across the Sahara on a camel. Um, I'm not really too sure what the thought process was behind this. <sighs> I'm just speechless. Um, I wanted to push you out of your comfort zone. The, I can completely get that, but this is an absolute disaster. And I'm going to start with this shirt. Everything about it is horrid. Even the feel of this shirt, it feels like it's scratching me. Oh, inside. really? It's not? Okay, that's because it's linen. It's not nice okay. at all. It's not comfortable. Um, I like the look of this. Sorry to interrupt you. I like the look of the top. Yeah, the if top. Was if I was, on, if I was maybe on holiday and mm. I was in a nice hot country, great. Anything apart from that, I just don't think it's comfortable enough to wear it for a long period of time because it's that linen material. Yeah. You wouldn't want to sit in this all day. Moving on to these, um, the colour is just disgusting. Um, <laughs> I can't work out whether they're meant to be brown, khaki, khaki, they're khaki. green. Like You know like when you order a Chinese takeaway and you get curry sauce? That's the colour. So it's not khaki, it's curry sauce <laughs> colour from a Chinese or something like that. Mm. And then these shoes, if you want some blisters or something, you should probably buy them because in the back here, in both of them, it's like metal plates are sticking into my heels. So you could maybe size up? No, it's not, no, it's, there's something, the to, my toes are fine and comfortable. It's something on the lower bit of these trainers. Okay, fair enough. Quite hard. I don't think they suit the outfit anyway, to be honest. And I've looked through the price tag today, so I've just tried on my favourite outfit, which was the denim denim jacket with the trousers. Now, that denim jacket was £30. This shirt is £30. It's because it's real linen, that's why. The other one was real denim though, wasn't it? Yeah, it's real denim, but linen is a more expensive fabric. It's not worth it. I'd say if I'm comparing the two, the denim jacket was so much more, like, miles apart, I think, quality, fit, feel, everything. Again, all of this stuff fits great, and you can tell the quality is yeah. there, but for me personally, it's just not an outfit that I'd ever, I'd ever Yeah, wear. I mean, look. These are, they? are linen. Yeah, they're linen too, yeah. Okay, so these are £25, and again, going back to some of the items that I've tried on so far in the tour, had the ripped jeans at the start, which were £49.99, miles apart in quality and feel. The trousers that I've just tried on were so comfortable, yeah. they were £30. So for an extra £5, 
you can either have the curry sauce trousers <laughs> or you can have some really comfortable, fashionable, you know, versatile yeah. grey trousers. I think you should look at what you're getting for your money. And I just, yeah, 100%. there's only so many things you could wear this with, was with the grey trousers, you could mix and match it. True, same with the work. denim jacket. Yeah. You can wear that with everything. Exactly, whereas these, I'm not gonna go to my office dressed as Aladdin, whereas I'd wear the grey trousers. So this, I can't even possibly give it a rating because I really so that's a zero out do there. hate it. Absolutely fine, not a problem. It's not the best outfit overall, I will agree with that, but we had to try something we I just out of the box. I and we've just decided think... we're going to get back into our box. I've got a few random pieces that I'm probably going to get you to pair with other things you already have. Yeah, because I haven't shopped it all in outfits. There was just some things that I saw that I liked. I'm not trying on anything with this, am I? No, you're not. We're going Good. to change them out of that. Okay. Um, okay, so the next thing we will be trying is this green. Again, kind of like a shirt jacket. I like a shirt jacket. I think it just jazzes up a t-shirt and stuff. So we're going to try this. I'm thinking with a white t-shirt... And then just your blue skinny jeans. Let's try on the Zara jeans with right, so this Right, this is the next outfit. This is the jeans that I was wearing earlier that I really liked. And then we've saw about the creases in this white t-shirt. It's the only one that I could find that wasn't the Zara one. So apologies for the creases. And then this is like the shirt jacket. And I can safely say I absolutely love it. I love it. I think it's great. It's a perfect spring summer outfit. Love it. I feel very cool in this outfit. Like very cool. I love this colour of the jacket. Um, especially when you've got a tan as well, like tan always makes you feel like a million dollars. But I think a tan with this, even just with a silver necklace, this is like a complete cool casual vibe I would wear. Anywhere. I love it. I love those jeans. I know I've already said that, but I think the jeans are so cool. I really like them. They're different and they're a good denim. They always look like Levi's. Again, and then this is a denim as again, well. Again, you look smart with no effort. To get ready in five minutes. Chuck on these jeans, t shirt, jacket, done. But and you again, look like you've made an effort. Yeah. That's the thing, you chuck it all on. But if you went out, people think you've thought about that and you've like put it together. Yeah. But it's just so easy to wear. Like it's very much like the denim blue denim jacket I tried on. Quality's really good, the fit's really good. It's just it just feels it just feels really nice. Like I really like I it. I love it. Like I want casual. Because <laughs> the thing is you could wear this as a shirt in the winter, say, because it is it's not thick denim. But you could just you do could it up even with a white t-shirt and a you could just leave but, the white t-shirt and a necklace. But, and then you can wear it into like end of summer, autumn, but you can wear it as a shirt with black jeans maybe and some like Chelsea boots. Yeah. So I think again, it's a versatile item, it works. This is £30. Again, so it all comes down to price and quality again. I absolutely love this and that linen thing that I just tried on here, that's £30. So again, unless you're shopping for linen, you know, and you're like, I need a linen shirt, then great, that's the item for you. But if you've got £30 to spend, have a look through Zara's website because I think when you can find something like this, it completely changes the look of an outfit. You can go from just having a boring white t-shirt on ripped jeans to then just chucking this on and it Little works. Little necklace, sunglasses. So much, yeah, so much different stuff this to work with. You can even just take this when the, when the summer nights are coming and it starts to get a little bit chilly around about seven, eight o'clock, but you still want to sit in the beer garden, just take this jacket. You could easily throw it over your shoulder, take it with you, leave it on a chair, whack it on in the evening, and you're ready to go. It's like having taken two different outfits out. I don't know why you're wearing those. They are not, they are not very good sunglasses. Well, I might keep them for me. Okay. Do they suit me? Mm, yeah. Excellent. They're not actually too bad on you. I just don't think they can suit me. This outfit is a 10. Yes, a 10. And that's because yes. I love these. Like I said earlier, I do love this denim jacket, but I just think because this is a different colour, different dimension, different I outfit, love it. Love this. Definitely keeping this. So, the only thing we haven't tried on, I've got a blazer and I've got a t-shirt. Now, I ordered this t-shirt. I thought it was a cotton t-shirt and then it's obviously got a zip. There is a button done up while I'm doing that and then it's got a zip. So, I just thought it's a little bit different to your plain white t-shirt. However, since it's arrived, I don't know whether you'll be able to see the material. But it's like, can you hear that? It sounds like a shirt. Yeah, it sounds like a shirt, but it kind of feels like very thin scuba material or something. I was trying, this is also from Turkey, they must make everything in Turkey. It's labelled as stretch, it is stretchy. It feels like you might get a bit hot and sweaty in it. It's, I'm not sure, why are you smelling it? It just sounds a weird, bit of a weird smell. So anyway, it's just another Definitely random piece. So, well, let's just try it on and we'll see, and then we can move on. Okay, so this is the t-shirt that we just discussed. It's not like a scoop material, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't sweat in this, I don't think. Very light, 
Well, we had a look. It's actually polyester. I just wasn't sure yeah. what it was, but it's it polyester. It stretches like it is really stretchy. And what's this in the large? So if you are slightly bigger than me, you'd easily be able to get into it because it does stretch. Material is it's very light. Like you don't feel like you're. I don't feel like I'm wearing a t-shirt really. Like it's very light. I don't like it enough. No, I like, didn't either when it came. I think the material is quite a nice material. I probably would buy something in this material. It's nice, it's light, like it just feels so comfortable. And then you've got the zip. The zip goes all the way down. <laughs> so if you want to shove like the jacket, the chest, <laughs> then crack on with it. But I'll wear it up here for modesty. Um, but yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I, I also just... didn't like the fact that it had this like random yeah. button. It looks like a vicar if you do it up. Yeah, but I don't like, understand what that I is. I don't know who's going to do that up. But... I think the t-shirt's nice, I think the fit's really nice, it's nice and airy, like it is comfortable. It's very like, I could just chill out in this, and, but you do feel like you're a bit naked. I think for Zara, Zara would do different things, and I think it was just a different take on a plain white t-shirt. If that was in cotton, like a thin, light cotton, I would say keep it because I like it. It's something for me about the material that I'm not too keen on. But for some people, I'm sure they'll like it. So last item is this blazer. Uh, Grey blazer, size large again. I just thought it was cute. I thought it was like nice for spring, summer. If you've got a wedding to go to or a Christmas or something, it's a nice one to throw over a shirt or whatever. That was just a blazer that I picked up to see what their blazers are like. Okay. Well, I'll put it on over this white t-shirt. I'll just keep the jeans on for the time being just to see what the fitting quality is like. So this is the final outfit. It's the uh, the grey blazer. And I absolutely love this look. Even with these sunglasses on while I'm wearing them indoors, I'm not too sure. Yeah, but, but they're part of the outfit. But I love it. I feel like I'm a music producer. <laughs> like I feel and I look like a music producer. Like I could just say to someone like, yeah. I'll like, sign I'll you. I'll sign you to my record label. You've got a great voice. Like the jacket, coming back to the fashion and the jacket and the fit. This is a great blazer. Like I have so many blazers. I think I've got about 15 blazers in different colours, different shapes, all sorts for work, for casual, etc. And this is a cotton blazer. I've had two cotton blazers in the past and they've been terrible. Um, but this is very nice. It's very, very comfortable. The inside, you've got like this texture, de detail yeah, it's in the inside. Lined. It's very good quality, very smart. The, the length of the arm is brilliant. Like for, for me, like this is, it looks like I've had this made to measure. Like it feels, yeah, like true, yeah. it feels very nice. It's very fitted. So this is a large. So if you are a little bit broader than me on the shoulders, you might need to go and size up because this sits quite well yes, on my shoulders. Yeah, so if you're broader or more muscly or anything this like that. This is almost like this was made for my body. It's, it, I love it. Like, I absolutely love it. Um, again, 60 quid. I don't think 60 quid for a blazer is expensive at all, to be fair. I think for a Zara blazer, that's a good price. Again, this is something that's going to last and last and last. It's and thick, I would it's go out price. in this outfit anywhere. Like, yeah, you could wear it anywhere. But the nice thing about that is as well, well originally I wanted Josh to try it on with black jeans and the white t-shirt, so it's a little bit different. But I think, again, it goes with so much, like to smarten it up, just putting yeah. a straight leg pair of black jeans on, black loafers, it then becomes smart. I mean, you could wear it with anything, obviously it's a blazer, you know what you can wear a blazer with, but I think it's really nice. I yeah. really, really like it. It's really, really good like quality. It. It's got nice details, buttons down the arm, you've got it like little elbow feels, patches. It feels like it's a very expensive blazer. It well, feels, it's 60 quid, it should do. Yeah, but I feel like it feels a lot more expensive than 60 pound. It's always in the tail room I can do it up or not because I've put a little bit of timber through, uh, through all this lockdown. Again, see, that is quite tight. When you do the button up, right. it is quite tight. And I'm not the biggest of people. No. So as a large, if you are a bit bigger than me, and now I weigh like 13 and a half stone, um, you're going to need to go on the size up because this is a very fitted blazer. It doesn't even say that it's fitted or a slim fit anywhere. I think, I was about to say, I think it is a slim fit. fit I'll put it on the well. screen if it is. I'll put the details on the screen and I'll put like a picture up of the jacket and whatever. But I think it was, it might not have been slim fit. It might have been like a fitted jacket. Just but you can clearly large. see it's meant to be styled but, to fit the body, yeah. which is nice. Yeah, no, it is nice. I really like it. It's even got like this little leather tag here on the pocket that makes it just look like it's a little bit more sort of like designer than what it actually is. Yeah, it is. gives it a nice touch. But I would recommend in the sizing, this probably isn't a very true large, in my opinion. I think this is this should say, and if it doesn't, then they need to fix it, slim fit or fitted jacket. If you are slightly bigger than me, take it to a size up. Go to an extra large uh, there's no shame in ordering an extra large if you need to. 
Um, or if you're the same size as Josh, but you just got a bit of a bigger belly, just don't give that up. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Love this jacket, love this outfit, love the fact that I look like I'm a new music producer. Mm -hmm. Think it's a great vibe and a great look, to be honest. Um, I know all of my friends are going to take the mick out of me for saying that I look like a music producer, <laughs> but I feel like one, so that's all that matters. But yeah, this outfit, I'd give this a nine. I'd wear this everywhere. A nine? Yeah, I love well, this okay, outfit. Well, okay, we're not at a ten then. I love this outfit. It's not, not, it's not a ten because I don't love it as much as I like the khaki okay. shirt jacket. But nine I do, out of ten, I'll take it. I that. love the blazer. It's really comfortable, really nice, great fit. I just think it's, yeah, I love, I love it. It's Brilliant. Really nice. But that's it. That's all we've got. That's all we've that's got. That's everything now. Everything I believe is tried on. And you have seen my honest reaction. I have been quite brutally honest, as you know, if you've watched all of, all of, all of this to the end, you found out there's a few bits in here that I really didn't like, to the point there was one outfit I gave a zero. Um, Which we didn't even film a full body for you, because he doesn't want to put it back on. So I'll put some photos up. Um, so apologies, you won't see me back in that outfit <laughs> again. That's how much I didn't like it. Um, but I think overall, I think you've done a really good job. Thank you. I love a lot of the outfits. A lot of the outfits I'm going to be keeping. There was just a few bits that weren't for me. But again, my taste is completely different to others. So if you have seen stuff that I've been wearing, all because I said I didn't like it, it doesn't mean the quality wasn't good enough, all right? So... You've done very well, really nice it, you. but well done. I think you've done well. Thank you. So out of everything, what is your fave must-have piece? If somebody was going to buy one thing from the hall, what is the one thing you'd say, this. get this? With ease. Okay, khaki jacket. This, this is my favourite. Tier, £30. Most people can afford £30. Yeah. I think this is a great quality piece that will last a long time, fits really well, can go with different style jeans. I think the amount of times that you wear it, it will probably end up working out maybe like 80p per time you wear it. Yeah. So this is my pick out of the whole haul. So that's it from us. Thank you very much for watching. Again, like I said at the start of the video, if you are watching this and you do like what we've done and we will do a few more of these and you'll probably see us fall out, we do have, I have bought, is it Pretty Little Thing? Yeah, you bought Pretty, Pretty Little, Little thing, thing and a Nasty Girl. Pretty Little Thing and a Nasty Girl. <laughs> uh, I've bought those two. I did a haul for Lauren because the channel isn't all just going to be about men's fashion. We are going to mix this up. I am going to stole Lauren without her knowing what I've bought, which could be interesting. <laughs> so stay tuned because we definitely will fall out. We've been blogging this week as well. You're going to see what I've been up to. So this isn't now just for a man's channel, just for the men's clothing. This is going to be across the board. So... Everybody tune in, subscribe. Like I said, subscribing means the world to me. I'm nearly at 100. If you can't be bothered to subscribe on here, just head over to the Instagram page. Do one or the other. Either subscribe or go over to the Instagram page. The icon's in my banner on the channel. Go on to that and just give me a little follow. At least that way you're, you're supporting me in one way or another. But it will mean the world to me. So... Again, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Hopefully today we'll get the news from Boris saying that we will be allowed out or at least be able to see friends and family. So I hope you get to see your loved ones very soon. Thank you and speak to you all soon.